Since the 1940s, a number of weird radio transmissions have been heard across the globe, and no one really knows exactly what they are. They're called number stations, and they're thought to be a way of communicating with secret agents, although no one's ever actually confirmed this. <laughs> Now with the advent of the internet, of course they've mostly died out, but they're not all gone. There is still quite a prominent one that remains in service. And that's what I'm going to try and find today. What we really need is someone with a knowledge of electronics. Um, I'm going to try and find Peter. Well, yeah, I couldn't find Peter, that, but... Sat outside, like, I'm going to go to my room now. I found Leon. Can, do you know anything about like electronics and stuff? No. Okay, well that... <laughs> right, um... Okay, you can be Peter. Right. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, oh, not good enough. We're now... <laughs> we're now going to try and find the radio station. Okay, so we've got to put it to like the correct frequency. Put it on. Turn that off. Um, Why are you burning the paper? Put shortwave... And the frequency Bro, is four six two. What? Oh, what the fuck? Four what six two five. <laughs> We've got left off. Um. <laughs> so and now we need to put on single side band. And see if we. So we should be able to hear like a. Sounds like a tunnel with a lot of wind. <laughs> Can you mm. Oh Can you hear a buzzing? Voila. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe it's there, but I'm gonna have to try and mess around with it. Okay, to make sure it works this time, I've done a couple of things differently. First of all, these buildings are probably influencing how the radio waves reach the radio, so I've moved to a slightly better spot and I also have an antenna, and for this we're going to need another pizza. Okay, right. So we're just going to hold this up? Yeah. So we'll put it through there. It's very great. Is this normal? It's like a black pool. I can hear BBC Radio 4 in my head. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe move it around a bit. I don't think it's worth it. I feel like I'm at a concert. That's just a prank. Yeah, it's just train. interference. That is just a prank. I don't think this is working. After this slight disappointment, I decided to phone Peter, the real one this time, to try and understand what had gone wrong. So according to Peter, the sun has quite a strong effect on the shortwave radio spectrum, so if I'm trying to get a radio station in the lower half of the shortwave spectrum, like UVB76, which by the way, is the official name of the radio station we're trying to find. I need to do it at night. Currently it's 2am, uh, everyone who's working on this film has gone to bed, but I need to film now because I need it to be night time so that I can get the radio station. So, um, yeah, here goes nothing. That sound, believe it or not, is being broadcast from over a thousand miles away in a site in Russia. And it's been broadcast for over 40 years. Okay, uh, that's incredible. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, see you in the morning. So as you saw, I managed to get the radio station and I managed to get it with the built-in antenna, but you have to do this at night. Now if you want to get one of these radios and try it yourself, they're about £60 on Amazon, or at least the one I found is, and you need to make sure it has single sideband, because the radio signal otherwise will be very weak. But anyway, that's enough for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. I want to scream unlimited power. <laughs> this is brilliant. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. The energy.